So last week, I covered on how to use a breadboard. And that's really just the tip of the iceberg. So I thought it would be fair to share with you some of the breadboard accessories I find very helpful. Right off the bat, I would say the Elegoo Uno kits are a great way to start into beginner electronics. The primary reason is that it gives you a breadboard, an Arduino Uno, and a large complement of components to experiment with. It does come with projects and some instructions to help, but unless you have some knowledge on electronics already, this part of the kit may not be the greatest selling point. However, there is an abundance of TikTok and YouTube videos to help on these kits. But again, when you're starting out, knowing what to buy may be the hardest part of starting. These kits solve this problem, and if price is a factor, there are a variety of kit sizes to match your budget, and you can add items as you go. Now that you have all these parts, it will quickly become apparent that good housekeeping is important. One way to stay organized is to buy a breadboard tray. They come in all different sizes, but I chose this one that holds a breadboard, an Arduino, and a Raspberry Pi. Now with every project, you're going to need power. Often batteries are used. However, connecting the battery may be arduous, so I recommend getting connectors with alligator clips to easily add power. If you want a more finesse connection for your power, I recommend soldering your battery connection to some DuPont jumper wires. This will work great regardless of what type of battery you use and reduce the chances of crossing the leads, which would cause a short in the circuit. If you want to go a step even further, adding a power supply module is a fantastic way to eliminate setup time for power. You simply press the module into the breadboard and voila, five volts and 3.3 volts are always present on their respective power rails. Lastly, I think Wegu connectors are immensely valuable at connecting wires together quickly. More so, it allows for connections to a breadboard that might otherwise need extra prep to connect like soldering, especially for braided wire. Plus it adds the ability to tweak your build on the fly all the way to the finish line. For more content like this, click the links at the end of this video.